Alrighty, so here we have Infinite Tanks World War II being played on Nintendo Switch. Uh, this review code is courtesy of uh, Atypical Games. Alright, so we've got play, we have uh, tanks, we have rewards, online and options. We're going to go to options here. So we've got auto aim, invert, Y, HD rumble. And then we've got help, Christ and language. And then if we go here and go online. Now, <coughs> this doesn't do anything. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, um, you could sit here for, you know, a, a long time and never actually get an online game going, which is really kind of sad because I think it'd be a really cool um, online multiplayer game. Um, I don't know if the online is just broken or if it's just not working or like it's just not a lot of people playing. I'm not sure what the deal is, but you can sit like this for several minutes to do five minutes. Must have waited, I think it was like half an hour, and I've gotten nowhere. So, um, I'm hoping that uh, this gets fixed um, in an update. Um, I'd like to see um, maybe other people, like, maybe uh, like an invite system. Uh, like, if you have a friend playing, maybe invite them to play. Uh, kind of a deal. Um, it just needs to be better uh, uh, implemented, I think. So, if we go over to tanks. So here's the tanks I have unlocked so far. You can test drive them. You can... Uh, you can modify them. So you unlock um, parts for your tank as you play the game. So if I wanted to, to change this, this, this changes the mass and the, uh, the amount of hit points I have. There's that, and then you've got uh, the, the tank treads, and you have a different stats there. And then here's the, the turret. And here's the... Uh, the gun barrel. Okay, and then here you've got the overall body, which I don't have anything unlocked there. Uh, and then you can compare the tanks. Just compare them and show the different stats, which is kind of cool. And then you can test drive them. I'm not going to test drive them though, but you can come in here and hit a play. Actually, I'm going to go back and go to rewards first. Alright, so I don't have any so you, you get chest open. I don't have any chest open, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do play. Now here's the meat of the game here. So we've got the campaign uh, and then custom. I spend most of my time in custom just because I like the custom games. The campaign's alright. Uh, let's go ahead and actually just go to the campaign here. I'll show you a mission. Here's where Operation High Ground. We'll play that. The load time isn't that bad, honestly. Um, it's actually not that bad at all for <laughs> for for being Nintendo Switch. Um, I like the the, the backgrounds, although the backgrounds do look a little low res. Okay. All right, so here we go. So you've got the left hand lock stick to control, to control your forward movement and your movement side to side, and then you have the right analog stick for your turret movement as well as your camera. You have the uh, ZL button that um, allows you to zoom in. You have the ZR button to fire. You have the um, R button to change um, your ammo type.
and then you have the right analog or the right D-pad that can that um, heals you if you get a, 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 a repair kit. And then you've got the up arrow that brings in a uh, a, a bomber. Again, if you happen to unlock it. So yeah, you're just running around the countryside with your tank battalion just destroying tanks. And it's pretty satisfying, honestly speaking. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get... Whoa. Now... You can knock out their... Um, uh, very satisfying. You can, like, for instance, um, if you wanted to take out their uh, their uh, tire, their uh, their um, what I'm trying to say, if you try to make them immobile, there we go. Uh, you can do that. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I'm just gonna roll up on them, literally. There you go, piggyback ride. <laughs> oh, he was an enemy. I'm gonna go back and try to. Ooh, I accidentally hit my uh, fellow tank there. Uh, those little icons show you what what aspect of the tank you're going to hit, and that's pretty important to uh, be mindful of. So, ooh, there we go. Nice shot, sir. Oh, yeah, move, okay. That's cool. I'll move too. You can hide in the, <laughs> the environment, which is kind of cool. Whoa, he's moving quick. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. And you can blow holes through like buildings and stuff. And you can actually um, use that as cover. Um, as well as fire through the building so you can actually get hit. Uh, if you change your weapon, it actually um, resets the, the uh, reload time. So that's something to keep in mind. There we go. Got one. So yeah, this is pretty much what a... Uh, What a uh, campaign looks like here. Oh, there's one more. Ah, uh, two more. There's one over here. Haha! <laughs> Got him. Some of the things you run over is a little unrealistic, I will admit, like those, like those rocks.
But yeah, the music's great. The graphics are awesome. Um, the game's a lot of fun to play. Uh, again, I just wish that uh, the multiplayer was actually existent. Oh, I didn't hit the, didn't hit the tread, the tracks. There we go. Got him though. and I mobilized one of them there. I failed the mission. That's okay, though. I'm going to go to the main menu. At least because a lot of my tanks died. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the custom games here, which is kind of cool. Kind of fun. I'm not going to show you every game mode, but... Let's go to play. Custom game. Alright, so we've got King of the Hill, Capture the Base, Team Deathmatch, Last Team Standing, or Free Roam. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you Deathmatch, or Team Deathmatch. So we've got a lot of different environments you can play in. you got France, you've got the mountains, you've got Russia, the Pacific, and the desert. I prefer the Pacific and the desert. Just because they're fun to play in. Again, low times aren't that bad. Alright, here we go. Again, I love the music. The music is very fitting. And see, this game would be a lot of fun with like online multiplayer if it actually worked. This would be pretty much how the game would play, and it would be spectacular. So we're gonna increase our speed, hitting the up arrow on the D-pad. Gives us a speed boost or mobility boost, whatever you want to call it. I was say, did he? Hello. Oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's 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 one way to to roll up on him, huh? Oh. I'm gonna back up because I'm gonna. That's why I figured I was gonna die. I knew it. I knew it was gonna last very long. All right. Oh, you can hit L to do the uh, like I said the the bomb run. I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you here. Get my speed boost going here. There they are, right over there. Oh, I missed. Okay. So nope. Not quite. Can't quite get over there. Right across the water here. We use the boats as cover. Try to anyway. The tanks move fast, man. There we go. Okay, now I can use it. Knocked out two of them. Close. <sighs> there, now I should be able to get the... Oh, come on! I thought I was going to nail the turret. That didn't work. Alright, guys. This has been a look at... Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, if it takes World War II, um, I want to thank Atypical Games for the opportunity of this game. The game's amazing. Um, I really hope the online um, multiplayer gets fixed because, again, I think that would that would run out this game very nicely. Um, I mean, it should definitely work, and, and I, I hope it does eventually uh, start working because I think that would be really, really cool to be able to experience this online. Um, so, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.